What's up, y'all? It's here. No. Hey. A lot of these videos about to turn into nighttime vlogs, man. I ain't even gonna count. I think this, man. I don't even know what this man. Deuce. Shit, we gonna need a whole nother header panel. I ain't know if these was in here, man. And I'm glad they is. These lower armrests, I ain't know if they was in here. So I'm finna make these from nothing. Start offering those. Back deck. Yup, yup, yup. Back deck armrest console. Uh, possibly a dash, man. But them dash take a lot of work. A lot of people don't understand that. And I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna lower my price of what I do because somebody don't know the cost of, you know what I'm saying? So I'd rather just not do it. But uh, I'm gonna be offering all that stuff. Blake decided that she wanted to get some uh, milk and then fall asleep. So she's sweet back there. So that's good. She could go crazy. So uh, I'm just gonna go, we're gonna take her. I was trying to just go to two stores, maybe because she'll uh, stay asleep, but I'm pushing it with three, but I have to go to Ace Hardware. So water, transmission mount, both for the transmission mount and torque converter. That's the process. So if she start acting up after we get the trans, no, I'm going back home. But uh, if she, she all right, we're going to get that. So I had to get the whole converter. Like, I was looking at my boat box, wasting time. Like, maybe I could find a boat that matched. No, it just took too long. So I just said, forget it. <laughs> and it got two different boat holes. So I don't know which one we're going to use or how it works or whatever. But uh, that's something we're going to figure out later. One for three. We good. We good. One for three. Two more stores, man. Hope you don't have no wish. Let me get this stuff in here. <laughs> Made it to the last spot, man. Blake is out. We good. So I'm gonna get some boats. Oh yeah, I ain't tell y'all. So I got a um for L60 E trans mount. Should line up the same in this one hole. We're just gonna use this for. Uh, like the beginning of the mountain process and everything but eventually we're gonna change it back to a real oh man all right let me hear you up i know it's i know i named this shut up and turbo but for parts like it's a lot of people who don't know like literally to this day every single i ain't gonna say every single but almost every day somebody asks me some stuff about ls that i didn't think of or really more so stuff that's literally on the channel so i don't be trying to talk about the same thing over and over i just when it's a new process to me i just try to show y'all but as far as working on the motor and putting it in it's too time consuming to literally like it's too time consuming so all i can really do is record do it and record at the same time so i really just can talk about parts now with that trans mount that's a 4l60e trans mount from from what i know all the trans like the two boats that the mount mount to the trans it's the same space from what i know so in my head that would make it easier to get the trans and mo motor and trans in the car because i i have a one mount cross mill one hole cross one mount hole cross mill so if i put the mount on the trans and put it in a cross member and the motor drop That'll put me like exactly where I need to be. Pull it back up, drill my holes, mount the motor mount to the frame, put it back in, put the holes in, put the bolts in, put it back in, put the bolts in, and that'll be it. Okay, so I bought a 400, uh, I bought a 4L60E cross member, uh, 4L60E transmission mount, right? And uh, I know on a lot of the 400s, 4L60s, blah, blah, blah. Some of them, the mounts are the same. But on this one, the bolt holes do not line up. So y'all see on here, 
got it, got it, but we missed it big time on this side. Big time missed it. <laughs> Let me see. All right, I'm lined up over here. Y'all can see. So, I had to give it a try, man, before I drive all the way to sum Summit. So, I might just go to Summit in the morning. I know Summit got the part, but tomorrow, if the weather like this, I'm not doing it. If it's like this, I'm not doing it. Because it's going to be hard for me to move the car, or move it, move the motor up and down. Uh, like I said, my driveway on the slant. So, it's just going to be hard all around. So I'd rather not do it this weekend just because it is. But say tomorrow the sun shining, I'm going to get the part anyway. The sun shining, shoot, I'm going to drop it in. One year later, this is my SpongeBob edit. <laughs> What's up, y'all? We back on a turbo don't. I got us some clips, man. When. The baby was just a baby when I was still trying to source some parts, so I'm gonna put some of that in there. But uh, I'm about to put the balance back on and get my springs changed so tomorrow hopefully I can clean it because I don't want to put an oily, dirty motor in here. But uh, tonight also I'm gonna put the this side header on with the turbo so I can mock up the drain so I can take the oil pan off, clean up all the shavings so I don't have any issues with that either. So, uh, I'm to go in the house. I put my coily in the oven so it could slide on easily. But I'm about to blow this thing, get all this dust. Because it's been sitting. Get all this dust from right there. And then, uh, Loctite on my screw. Got my Loctite up there. And then, boom. Zap this bad boy down. Truck intake, truck decapped injector, like I was going to keep it around the process. So when I see his setup, man, I'm like, I don't know if he showed it to y'all yet, but it's real clean. And I was like, damn, so much for what I was trying to do. But now I'm back, I'm back, I'm back to my original plan, man. I just wanna see. What a simple little 5.3. Truck set up and all. Which, like I say, it's still not cheap. It's cheaper than anything else. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not changing my intake just yet. If I like the setup, it run great, I will change it for the looks. But I, I just need to get the metric down for now. So, yeah. Now, the way I'm trying to change these springs is I'm trying to, I took all the spark plugs out so the motor can spin easy. I'm going to put this valve tube in there and I'm going to get it to where it's showing the most pressure it can show when I rotate it by hand. And then when it got the highest pressure it can get, then I'm going to push the springs down and uh, change them. I just got to find my magnet so I can get the retainers. 